what's up guys so just got back home from the gun shop um, picked up this Springfield Armory Saint AR pistol in 556 um, I was fighting with myself I don't know whether I should go 300 blackout 556 put it this way usually when I buy a gun I'm thinking of a shit hits the fan type scenario if you have to go out looking for ammo what are you probably gonna find more of 556 then you add on the expensive cost for 300 blackout which I've seen anywhere from 75 cents to a little over a buck around me personally I can't afford that so let's crack this thing open and take a look so straight from the factory comes with one mag pull P mag 30 rounds that's pretty cool um, I like that a lot better than your standard uh, steel mag Obviously comes with the lock. What we got here? Same gun oil that I use on all of my firearms. Uh, it's made by Lucas. This is a kick-ass oil. Doesn't fling off. Um, doesn't get too tacky or sticky either. It's really good stuff. Um, you can find it at a lot of different gun shops. You can even find this stuff at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, go check it out. Give it a shot. And then it comes in this nice little case. Look at that. Got a nice Springfield logo on there. Um, as far as I know, sure as shit, look at that. Comes with a detachable patch. Saint. You can put that in your gun safe, on your Molly, on uh, whatever, on your backpacks. Represent a little bit. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Springfield Saint Pistol 556223, obviously a multi cal. That is just that is just awesome. See, I'm the type of guy when I get a new gun, I could just sit here, I could stare at it, I could hold it, I could caress it. I take a lot of pride in my firearms. Um, right off the bat, you can see it says Saint about everywhere on this gun. We got we got it here on the lower receiver. We got it on the bolt carrier. We got it right here on the handguard. This is free floating, by the way. So that's pretty cool. I guess they want you to know that you bought a fucking saint. Thanks, Springfield, for us guys that uh, short-term memory loss. We'll get this off here. And we will get our flag out of here. No need for that. Standard GI style charging handle. So that's cool, no issues there. Get that dummy out of there. It's got a little bit of a bevel around the mag. Well, nothing too dramatic. Um, but it's slight, it's, it's noticeable, it's there, just a little bit. You could have flared that out a little bit better. Me personally, I like a flared Magwell. Um, on my Glocks, ARs, the more flare the better. Rick Flair, woo! So, Bravo Company, um, Grip, Bravo Company Trigger Guard. Now this is Springfield Single Stage Nickel Boron Coated Trigger. Um, that's pretty cool. Now, if they could have made this guy nickel boron, but that is HPT uh, magnetic particle tested as well. So that's cool. That's that's essential for a bolt carrier. So I'm glad Springfield didn't cheap out on that. Um, let's move to this end. Your pistol brace, your arm brace. This is not a stock. If I call this a stock, I'm in trouble. But according to the ETF, now it is cool, for now, who knows if it's going to change down the road, but for now you can shoulder this. So, 
I'm not a felon. <laughs> this is basically an SBR, guys. Let's let's face the facts. Let's be real here for a minute. This is the closest you can get to an SBR without spending $200 on your tax stamp, spending the extravagant extra amounts of money, having to wait for it. Seven and a half inch barrel, comes with a nice little hand stop so you don't blow your digits off. You definitely don't want that. This guy right here, let you take a look at that. Empty, nothing in there, no mag. For all you safety nuts out there, you safety Nazis. This guy right here on the end, that is Springfield's blast diverter device. So on a shortened down AR, you know, first off it's gonna be loud as shit. If you're not wearing ear protection, you're probably gonna have some permanent ear damage. But the concussion, the gases, that's what this is for. This directs everything forward towards your target, which is pretty cool. So if this wasn't on there, your, gla your gases would be either blowing back, blowing out the side, this directs everything forward so that's pretty cool um the concussion alone on such a shortened barrel and make your head womp a little bit and all those gases coming back in your face nobody wants that shit so that was really cool that springfield came up with this um as far as i heard you know i haven't shot this thing yet obviously i just took it out of the box the case um, everything i've heard it's been nothing but good things about this device and it just looks fucking badass how cool is that? It's got a bunch of little flutes in there. It's got all the holes that direct the gases out forward. That's really cool. Well, let's move to the top rail. Standard Picatinny rail on top here. It's numbered, so if you take off an optic, you know right where to place it without having to re-zero it. Um, this chunk right here, I'm sure you can notice. They took out the Picatinny. Then again, I can't blame them because on such, such a short platform, Chances of you sticking something right here are pretty slim to none. And gives you a really nice area to hold on to. I mean, look at that. I can almost wrap my whole hand around that. That's just... That's sweet. I like that. Um, that's pretty cool that they did that. And here they pick it up again so you can put a front iron on there if you want. Now, this handguard, it is M-Lock compatible. So if you want to attach a light... Uh, Grenade launcher, chainsaws, whatever, whatever your little heart desires. You can do it. That's about it for the Springfield Saint. Um, I'm going to take a drive up north today, a couple hours north, way up to the Northwoods, eh? Up to the Northwoods. And we're going to go put some rounds to this bad boy. It is a little cold today, you know, it's uh, high teens, super low 20s, but that's the joy of living in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Um, I'll do an update on this guy. I'm really excited. I got nothing but good feelings about this. Um, I'm the type of guy, before I buy a firearm, I do my research. I do my homework. And I've read nothing but good things about this gun. I heard Springfield, uh, they absolutely knocked it out of the park. <coughs> Excuse me. So, more to come. Here she is. Thanks for stopping in, guys. See you soon.